Uh, as mentioned, it's getting cooler. We see some uh, system just offshore. Could this bring more snow to the Tahoe area? Jeff? Uh, they're looking really good. If everything stays on track, we are talking about feet of snow headed up to Tahoe. So some excellent news for the Sierra for our drought. But of course, like lately, it's all or nothing, right? We had the very dry conditions through most of November. And now here we go again. As we've been telling you in our long range forecast, though, mid to end of December was really looking up for us and we still have some big time rainfall in that forecast. Now look right now at Storm Ranger mobile Doppler radar and we do have the cloud cover overhead. We've seen some hit and miss spotty areas of showers today and a little bit of drizzle mixing in and that's what we really expect as we head through tonight. I don't think you're going to have any problems uh, wherever you're headed as we move through this evening. Now by tomorrow morning we're going to begin to see this cloud cover break up across the North Bay but still a pretty overcast start uh, through the East Bay Peninsula and the South Bay and then we should start to see that cloud cover move out for some sunshine as we roll through tomorrow. Now temperatures as we begin will be chilly, just a few degrees cooler than we've been used to uh, with lots of low 40s here. 42 over the South Bay Peninsula, 43. Tri-Valley also have you at 41 and we are going down to 40 in the North Bay, San Francisco 48 and the East Bay 46. So it's another day where you have that jacket and you're probably not going to be finding yourself taking it off too much through the day because daytime highs tomorrow drop off a couple more degrees. Look at this daytime highs. That's it up into Santa Rosa. 54 degrees. We stay with those mid 50s down to Half Moon Bay and looks really similar again. Anywhere you travel here through the bay, 56 in Palo Alto, 56 right there in Concord. So a cool day as we roll through tomorrow and then let's go ahead and move it ahead towards two different changes. I really want to focus in on now. The first change is going to be this cold blast of air as we head through Friday and Saturday morning. That's going to bring our morning temperatures down into the 30s. The second thing we're looking at here is this atmospheric river lining up one once we hit Sunday at 430 in the morning. Now by Sunday night, that atmospheric river starts to move down towards the South Bay. And then we get into some very heavy widespread rainfall as we roll through Monday and some heavy, heavy snow for the Sierra. So right now I haven't seen any changes in my forecast. I have not adjusted anything because everything looks on track. We'll see rainfall totals anywhere from three quarters of an inch to three inches. Highest totals North Bay coast. Also the peninsula and East Bay could get in on those two to three inch rainfall rates. Uh, winds 20 to 40 miles per hour, so small stream flooding could also be an issue for you. And Sierra Snow, I've increased this to two to six feet of snow, so lots of snow, rain coming our way. Right here in San Francisco, you'll see those daytime highs are expected in the 50s as we roll through the next couple of days, so keep those jackets handy. Dust off the umbrella and through the inland valleys, we've got it all. Again, cold, cold mornings coming in Friday and Saturday as we are down into the 30s and then that heavier rain. This is just what we need mm -hmm. to see in December. Uh, we're going to be able to make up some really good headway if all this stays on track for us. We've been waiting for this kind of seven day forecast for a while now. Thank I know. Goodness. Yeah, I've been fielding all the responses and <laughs> when is when are we going to get it? And it's, it's looking it's good coming. for us. Yeah. It's good news. Okay, thanks, Jeff.